Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to do a quick demo using Chroma database to retrieve some information. First things first, you want to load up a data set. In this case, I'm going to use Hugging Face. So from data sets, I'm going to import a function load data set. And then in this line of code, I'm going to upload a data set called Youthless Homeless Shelter Web Script Data Set QA Format. In this case, this data set is actually from a previous project. If you open it up, you can actually see the dictionary format, meaning that there's a JSON file. And then the features have questions and answers. It's not a terribly large data set because in this case, we only have 131 rows. So once you load the data in, you're going to instantiate a Chroma DB client. This client is instantiated so that you can create a collection and you can add information to it. So what I mean by that is you create a collection using this line of code and you give a random name. Oh, by the way, in every Python instance, this name has to be unique. If I run this code one more time, it will give you an error code. So that being said, the hyperlifting is now, of course, done by the questions. To minimize the hallucination, you really want to compare apples with apples. You don't want to compare apple with oranges. What that means is whatever user question that's entered into the retrieval-based algorithm, you want to compare that with the questions in your data set. So here's a list of questions that you can check out. So next thing I'm going to do is I want to embed and store all these instances into this collection. So I'm going to use collection.add function. And then in this case, I have IDs, which is just a list of IDs. And then I have documents. These are actually the heavy liftings. And in this case, you want to pay attention to the content that you're adding to documents. It's the questions. And then you give a metadata type just so that you have a little bit more attributes to tag on these documents. And then boom, there you go. You run this code. It will give you the collections. And then you verify it by doing a dot count method, and this will give you the total count of the collections, which is 131, and that makes sense because that's what we have. Now you want to query the data. In this case, let's say you query some sort of random questions. Let's say you say, what is the main focus of the Youth Spirit Artworks program in Berkeley, California? And then you do a query search. What that means is you use collection.query. In this case, you want to send in the user query, which is this function that we define above as is a question, into the query text as the input argument. And then you want to specify the end results to be two. This will give you top two results according to similarity score. So you run this code, it will give you a collection of results. You print that out. It's just a dictionary format. And then inside of a dictionary format, there are two items, 0 and 63. And then there's a distance zero, and then this thing has a distance 0 0.42. What that means is this question down here from index zero actually has zero distances, meaning that the user prompt is very, very similar. As a matter of fact, it's exactly the same as what the document says. Now, that makes sense, right? Because I took this function from the document, and I enter it for the purpose of hoping to get the exact same question. And there you go. This is a demonstration of if you want zero hallucination, you better make sure that in your data set, you have sufficient amount of questions to match every single question that the user can possibly enter. So the heavy lifting is down here in this dot query, and you want to make sure that this is the questions. So with that being said, you can use this nice function using Panda data frame to put together this table, and this table will be able to give you a question, an answer, and a distance score. So then you can do the magic, send this thing into a large language model as an instructions, as a prompt engineer. You do whatever it is that you want. You can have large language model to reading these answers and then to answer the user question. And there you go. That is a simple demonstration today to use Como database on a data set from Hugging Face. Like and subscribe.